Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an old bag in today and I've had to look at where it was from because I've got quite a few coming in at the moment. So yay! And this one comes to me from GBFKE. Uh, Nathan contacted me again said, would I like some products to show on my channel? Um, they are free of charge. It is a PR package, but I will be honest with my review as usual. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Quite a few goodies in this one. So we have a few items. Two, two, two. two. Yeah, I'll show you those in a moment. And we have a diamond painting shape package. And, oops, a diamond painting shape package with an extra bit on. Thanks for the extra bit of rubbish. <laughs> And then, oh, just a couple of little bits. Okay. So, uh, GBFKE at the moment, um, I had a quick look on the website before I started my unboxing. Uh, it states free shipping uh, over 60 euros. So you would need to double check to see what there is for your country uh, and what special offers there are on. There is a banner saying sale on the front homepage of the website. Uh, and there is a little thing that says buy four, get one free. So isn't that a good excuse to buy five instead of four? <laughs> get one free, we all like freebies. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six things to have a look at. But well, two of them are sort of similar. So let's have a look at this little chap first because we can see this, can't we? <laughs> Well, look at that face how could you not love that little face i think he's having a bad day don't you <laughs> that's so funny either that or he's looking at you very judgmentally and saying do you really want to put that there are you sure <laughs> it's great and this is a diamond painting pen yay look at that and it's, oh, it's not brass tip. That looks like a metal steelish tip. But to be honest, it's very light for how bulky it looks. And I just like, we've got a sound. You know me, I like my sounds. And look how sparkly those drills are in that pen. But look at that owl. Is that not just brilliant? There's quite a few different colours and quite a few different ones um, with different little characters on. But yeah, no, that owl has definitely got its its wings on its hips and it's saying, are you serious? What are you doing? Oh, look, he matches my nail varnish today as well. <laughs> Purely coincidence. Um, yeah, my nails aren't brilliant at the minute, so I've put a bit of um, thicker nail varnish on, shall we say. It's uh, a glittery nail varnish, so it tends to be a little bit thicker and uh, just keep your nails a little bit stronger. Well, they do mine anyway. So, yeah, he's got a little stand, so you can stand him up on your desk. So you can say, oh, he's definitely, look at that, oh, he's definitely judgmental. He's standing to the side with his hands, well, his wings on his hips, and he's saying, yep, okay. Look at that, but it's just fab. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have that. You know me and my little quirky things. Oh, there's some hot, oh, look, there's hot pink gems in amongst those purples. They're not just pale purple. There are some hot pinks in there. It was made just for me. What can I say? Okay, so yeah. That's pretty. It's quite nice to hold actually as well. Because rather than it being a thin, uh, like the pink pens, it's quite a nice chunky, but it's not too long. Um, anybody that knows my little setup, I have, um, I have a magnifying glass with... Um, a light on it that I look through and if I get any of the longer pens I tend to find that I'm bashing the light. Yes I have it that close so that I can look that close. So something a little bit shorter like this is going to be a lot, a lot easier to use. So that is nice to hold. Or you could even hold it at the end I suppose there and you know it depends how you hold your pen. Um, I sometimes if my fingers start getting stiff I do sometimes hold my pen like that so that I'm picking up and doing that motion rather than using it like a pen i sometimes find these fingers get a little bit cramped so but yeah oh i love that just that expression on the owl is fabulous and then when you're finished you just oops <laughs> knock him over and throw him off the desk 
actually that's probably quite good as well because if you've got your wax in your pen sometimes you'll find that it can dry out um your wax or your glue dots or whatever depending on your weather or whatever they can dry out a little bit so actually by putting it in a case and just keeping it closed yeah you are finding that that might keep your wax and it'll stop any fluff or anything getting on it anyway any dust or whatever I always make it sound like my house is really, really dusty. It's not, honestly. <laughs> the owl saying, are you sure? <laughs> okay, so we'll pop him to one side over there, look, so he can watch what's going on now. And the next item I've got, this, um, if you look on GBFK's website, they don't just do diamond paintings. They do do all sorts of the bits and pieces as well and tools. And they have started doing gems. Now, I don't know whether they've been doing them a while or whether I've only just noticed them. But I did notice them. And if you remember, I got that eye mask a while back uh, from GBFKE. And I did say I was going to do it in glow-in-the-dark gems. And then I noticed that GBFKE have started selling glow-in-the-dark gems, drills, um whatever you want to call them so yeah that is some white glow in the dark what i'll have to do um is possibly wait until it gets a bit darker because it's very bright in here today for a change um and see if these charge up a little bit and then i'll show you them glowing yeah the white i think i got let me have a look right okay so these are the luminous round uh luminous round rhinestones kit for diamond painting and these are the crystal ones so i thought they would be quite good particularly coming up to halloween as well it's not that far off folks we're uh, in june now oh my goodness i can't believe we're in june nearly halfway through the year ah uh, and these cost one pound 27 and that's a 15 gram bag and as you can see there is a lot in there there's a good pot full in there so yeah, I will try and get those charged up and see if I can just insert it into the video tonight um, once they've been out in the sun and then it's dark tonight and hopefully they will glow. You can just about make out right in the middle of the screen the glow-in-the-dark drills. I think if I move them more into the light you'll maybe see them. You can see a slight glow. Unfortunately my camera's not picking them up. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they definitely are glowing a very, very green. Glow in the dark drills. Yep, so uh, I will get those uh, charged up as it were, so that they're out in the daylight today now. Uh, possibly put them on the window ledge because it's very, very sunny here today. And very, very hot in this craft room. I'll insert a little clip just showing you them glowing tonight. Ooh, glowing tonight. I thought that was really good value, £1.27, that is a big bag. And they have got lots of different colours as well, lots of different colours of your drills um, and your glow-in-the-dark, so pop over there and have a look. Uh, our little friend, our little pen, was 85 pence, would you believe? I mean, 85 pence. What can you buy for 85 pence? I just thought it was fab. I just love his expression, so yay! Okay, what shall we look at next? All right, leave those to last. Let's have a look at this one because we can just about see what this is. And as you can tell, it's me and I'm unbagging and it's a special diamond painting. <laughs> it wouldn't be an unbagging for me if I didn't get a special, would it? Okay, maybe you close. Oh, let me put Owl a bit closer so he can be watching. We want him to be able to see what's going on. <laughs> Oh dear. I've got uh, Millie absolutely flat out on the floor. Millie's our little Scottish terrier, our scardy dog. Uh, and she's just so warm. She just doesn't know where to put herself. This is the trouble with having a black dog. She gets very, very hot. She seems to just soak up that sun. And uh, some days, you know, she she goes and sits out in the garden and she comes in and she's red hot. She's like a radiator. And I say, why do you go and sit outside, mad dog? Anyway, that's a whole other story. But yeah, she's with me in the craft room at the moment, flaked out on the floor. <laughs> so look at this one. I just thought the colours and the cheeky little chappy on it are just wonderful. 
Okay, so we've got our oh lovely bunch of special drills. Look at the size of the numbers on those. You can see them from space. They're huge. <laughs> uh, we've just got our little basic toolkit, our starter toolkit, which starter toolkit. Put your teeth in straight, Liz. Uh, which is our pen, boat, and wax. And we've got three little whip seal bags. Okay. Right, so look at this, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know whether this isn't a love bird. Although it looks a little bit big for a love, love bird, and they do usually come in toes, but that's your little thumbnail picture there of it. And I just thought, oh, seeing as the parrots, yes, I did this order um, when the parrot was voted the uh, card you most wanted me to do on my little special. So I thought, right, we'll get some more parrots and hello, Billy the parrot. Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. So now Millie's looking at me and it's it. Oh, are you talking to now? Although she is getting used to me talking to myself. <laughs> I do keep saying to hubby, would you like to come in on my video? Or do you want to sit and listen? He says, what do I want to sit and listen about? Damn, I'm painting for. So that was my answer. <laughs> Let's just move you out of the way, little hoop the owl. Right, so look at that. Aren't those colours absolutely gorgeous? And I just thought, yeah, it's such a beautiful summery painting with all these gorgeous pinks and oranges and the flowers down here with the greens. And then the little parrot in the middle. I, I don't keep thinking it, it looks like a love bird, um, but it does look a bit big. Maybe the flowers are small. Maybe it's just the scale's a bit smaller. It's not as big as those swans, though, is it, that were... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right so i absolutely love this uh it says it's a 30 by 40 i think we will find it will be slightly smaller because usually 30 by 40 is the canvas size and um, but on the website they do actually now the uh, tape measure is doing its thing again it's alive <laughs> On the uh, website, they do actually now show that it's the canvas size and then they give you the measurements of the picture as well, which I think is really good so that you don't get confused. Confused, sorry. Uh, 24 centimetres, which is just under nine and a half inches that way. Bye. 34 centimetres, which is 13 and a quarter-ish inches that way. So yeah, we're losing a little bit. But they do look nice in a frame with, I would put a black a background on this actually. I was thinking possibly green, but I would put a piece of black card behind this and put it in a 30 by 40 frame. Oh, we might have a different thing to show you in a moment. Because GBFK do do different things. Okay, oh, I just, let's have a look at these jewels. It's smiling. That is definitely smiling. It's got a smile on its face. It's saying, yay, I've arrived in my new home and I'm out of the bag. <laughs> oh dear. All right, just pop that over there. Those look nice sparkly drills. Ooh, and a special at the end. So let's see what colours have we got. Oh, we've got a key code both sides as well. Wow, so we've got 12 different colours. Uh, again, it does say DMC, but I think that's possibly their numbering. Um, I've never managed to marry those up from one painting to another. So I think it's just as they give it a number to be able to kit it up, possibly. Um, I may start writing those down. Do I have time? I'll maybe see. <laughs> but yeah, 12. Okay. And I've just spotted something. Oh, look at these. So we have a lovely cherry red there. We have two pinks. Are they both the same? Yes, they're both the same colour. So two bags of the like, palish pink. A lovely sort of orangey, very subtle orangey gold. And a yellow gold. And that's like a very limey green there. And a hot pink. We have a hot pink. I'm sure they put these in for me. <laughs> Yeah, you wish was the cry. <laughs> and another red there, a little bit deeper red. Oh, and a lovely amber orange. 
and a bit of a pale green and a pale pink and that's like a bronzy brownie colour. They're very useful, those bronzy brownie coloured gems. Uh, I don't like them. And then look for the middle of the flowers. All these little flower bits here are all going to have the, these half spheres, these half rounds of this lemon colour. So with all that pink and the green and the bright colours, this lemon is just going to really make them stand out and pop. Oh, that's fab. Love that. Love that one. So, yes, we're having a parrot theme. Okay. So let's have a look at the next painting. Put away and we'll put, shall we call this one Billy after Billy? Um, he's not one of these type of parrots, but he is green, so it's a similar to Billy. A nearly Billy, shall we call it. <laughs> oh, and that one cost uh, £5 and 54 pence, which I think for um, a 30 by 40 with all those drills is pretty good going. Uh, and then the next one, let's have a look and see what we've got on this one. Where's my squizzers? Where are they? Oh, oh, it's been opened this end. Shall we open it this end then? It's already uh, tried to escape this end, so we'll see where we are. And oh yes, look at this. Right, I told you we're on a parrot theme. So this one is a 40 by 30. It's a landscape one. And, oh, it's in baggies. Yay. So we've got our same toolkit again. Just there's no little uh, grip seal bags in that one. Okay, but look. This is all kitted up for us in grip seal bags. And, oh, that one's got a diamond on it. Look, look at that. That one's got a diamond on it. I like that one. Very good. Oh, I've just noticed I've chipped some vinyl varnish off. That's not good, is it? Very slack, Liz. Oh, look. Oh, I like these bags. Oh, have they all got diamonds on them? Ooh, these might be keepers. <laughs> look at those colours. Wow, I'll we'll have a closer look in a moment, but let's just look at this canvas. <gasps> look, it's two macaws. I think they're called macaws. Yeah, they're called macaws. Look at those. We are definitely parrots all the way. Is this round or square? That's a round one, so it's a round one, 30 by 40, full drill. But I just again saw it, and as I say, I was definitely on a parrot theme. But yep, we're going to have some parrots. Let's just hit this step. Let's just have a fight with this plastic and see if I can just flatten it down that little bit. Oh, it's wanting to cling to this. I wonder if it's because it's warm, so it's got a little bit more sticky. Just keep that flat. We don't want you bending backwards onto our canvas. So just always, if you're new to diamond painting, if you do get one of these clear covers, always remember to keep the clear cover the same way around that it came to you. It looks the same both sides, but it's not. If you put these covers back down the wrong way around, they will stick to your canvas and it can take the glue off and you will have a heck of a job getting it off. So just always be mindful. Possibly put a sticker on this side if you are working using the clear cover because you don't want to put the wrong way down on your canvas. There you are. You can see them now. Upside down parrots. There you are, back right way around. But aren't they gorgeous? And they're sat on their little stand look. And there is a lot of green background. Looks like W is possibly, is W the three? Yeah, W is 310. So we've got a lot of black all in this area here. And then it's all greens around. But to be honest, for a 30 by 40, I do believe we have quite a bit of detail on this. So I have high hopes for this one turning out to be quite a good canvas. So it's 22 colors. Uh, it looks like we're all capital letters for the key code, DMC numbers on it, and the key code at both sides, which is excellent. Uh, what have we got? We've got a W. The U's are completely different colour. We've got an O and a D, which are one's green, one's blue, so that's not too bad. 
Uh, so, but yeah, they look pretty. Okay, we've got a P and an R, which again are greens, pretty similar colours. So I'm going to have to watch P and R. Trying to see where the P's are. Oh, the P's are more over here, I think. But it's a pretty clear drill field. Let's see if we can focus in. Yeah. Where those darks are, you can see those letters really well. That's looking really good. Sorry about the little bit of glare. Look at those faces. Do you think they're having a kiss? Do you think I'm still in my smoochy mood? And we've got two kissing parrots now. So we had two kissing owls the other day. And now we've got two kissing parrots. Oh, that's all. Oh, definitely. Oh, give us a kiss. <laughs> all right. So look at these drills. All bagged up. Yeah. Wow, I'm all in number order as well, so I shall see if I can keep them in number order. <laughs> right, so they, they look pretty good to me. They look nice drills. Can't see any trash. There's no static either, which is always good. Yeah, they look pretty good. So we've got like a beigey brown. Put them this way around and they put them back. And I do like these bags with a diamond on. They're pretty snazzy, aren't they? I'm going to have to keep those. And the number's printed on those as well. Ooh. Okay, so that's good. That's that's just really professional looking. I like that. And then, oh, look at that. That's like a tealy blue colour with the pinks decided to join the blue party. Okay. And, oh, another version of that. So... Just a slight colour change, just to give you, more or less see it on camera, just gives you a slight subtle change in colour. Number 18 doesn't have a diamond, but that's okay, we don't mind, it's a pretty colour anyway. And number 17 is this lovely greeny colour, bottle green. Oh, cut that orange, wow. That's excellent, like that, really bright orange. And number 10 is 890, which is a very, very dark green. We have a massive bag of that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let's put number 10 over there because number 15 is uh, yep, number 15, which is like a darkish brown. 14 and we're back to the greens again. And that's another green there. 13. I do like these bags with the diamonds on, I say, very posh. You could actually do your own kitted up into these if you like working from bags. If you keep these bags, they've got some good numbers on them. Uh, and just having that diamond on just makes them really special. I like this. I like feeling special. <laughs> and it is hot pink as well. It's a hot pink diamond. And numbers I hasten to add. That's like an orangey reddy colour. And that's another sort of dark, very dark, nearly grey, greeny colour. And a lovely bright blue. And that one, number seven. What's number seven then? That's eight, two, three. So, wow. Oh, we missed number ten out. Let's put number ten where he needs to be. I think he's because he's a fat one, he's escaped. <laughs> and a nice browny colour there. Oh, and a lovely sunny yellowy orange. And we have, what's that, like a peachy sort of beige not really beige, sandy colour. And then, oh, we're back to the lovely bags again with the diamonds on. That's like a tinned pea green. And number two, always oh, a lovely red, bright red there. And number one is your huge bag of three tens. Okay, so wonderful colours. They all look pretty good drills now then. Can I get these back in here without throwing them all over? Was the cry. Let's have a go anyway. See, the person who put these in this bag in order will be proud of me because I'm putting them back. <laughs> okay, so that is... Painting at number two. Okay. And then lastly, these, I've actually used these before. 
got GBFK Eat has now started selling the magnetic picture frames. Okay, let me just, how will you'll have to go over there in that corner. So yeah, these are for 30 by 40 paintings. This is 25 across that the picture will show. So these are, well, basically for these, aren't they? When you cut your picture down to put into your frame, then these are actually for this size painting. So let me just show you this one. I didn't measure this one, did I? I think it will be around about a 25 by 35. Yeah, 35 that way and 25 that way. So these are ideal for these frames because this frame is 35. So let's get it out of the bag. I've got gold and silver. They also do other colours as well as the black. I've only ever seen them in black and when I saw the colours I was like oh wow that's fab I'm going to be getting loads of these because I do like the magnetic frames and these are only £3.84 each I've paid more than double for that um, in other places so these are an excellent value for money you can get them actually with um, like a frosted cover as well I don't believe I'm not quite sure when you would use that one, but this is the transparent cover. Uh, and then you literally cut out your painting. It won't quite fit in here because I've got that edge on. Let me see if I can just fold this edge a second so you can see it and see what I mean. So it will literally, sorry, it will be upside down. <laughs> so your painting will go into your frame there you are and then it will just literally be magnetic you do need to as i say cut the edges off so that the magnets don't have anything in between them this is your magnetic strips so they need to sort of have contact really it will go through but not very well so you do need to do it that way and then just to give you a rough idea as i say this needs cutting out really once it's done but it will take your full painting. And because, although they're, they're not uh, very deep, these magnetic strips, it does allow for the uh, drills to be in. And once they're in these frames, they stay in these frames and they stay on the wall. So you can put your command strips or whatever on the back. So I tend to use command strips a lot. Uh, not affiliated <laughs> but i found that they're just so much easier and they stay on the wall and they don't make a mark when you take them off the wall which is why i like them because i do swap my paintings around as you've possibly seen i had my easter theme then i changed it to my jubilee theme my next theme in my corner will be summer once i take my jubilee down so having magnetic frames uh, and they do come in different sizes as well just means that i can swap my paintings in and out without having to keep opening a photograph frame and getting them little things and trying to mess about with them i just love these i think they're an excellent idea so let's just move parrots a second let me just show you it with an actual this is a fully completed uh, diamond painting and i just tend to put I have some like little tape strips that I just put, I think you can possibly see, I don't know if you can see, I've just put a little tape strip across there that I just put onto the top of the painting um, that just holds it in place. I mean, you could put it onto a piece of card if you wanted and put it in here, but I quite like the little white border around the edge sometimes. Um, or this one. Actually, no, this one didn't have a white board in it. Let me just get this one lined up. So then just put it in the middle and you will see then, look, a 30 by 40 painting. 30 by 40 painting. Get my mouth working, Liz. Just fits in. These need flattening out because obviously they've come through the poster and they're a little bit uh, wobbly at the minute as they've uh, come through. But yeah, and then you literally just have your painting. And let's see, because it is a bit wobbly. Yeah, it's staying together. It's not, I think you can see, give it a bit of a jiggle. It isn't quite meeting here. It's sort of staying together a bit because it's not quite flat. 
but you know once that's hung up on the wall oops once that's hung up on the wall i think you can see that's not dropping out it's staying in there so they are really good i'm really impressed i've not had one drop out yet um just trying to think how long i've had say the black ones cost a lot more than these that i've got and they've been on the wall i think i put them up at christmas so i've been using them since christmas and changing pictures in and out of them and i've not had any fall out of the paintings obviously you put it with this at the top but even so you know this could still possibly come up and if they weren't good quality um but yeah so these will definitely be going up so that i can say swap out my paintings great for if you've done say um a custom painting uh maybe of a grandchild maybe you do like the school photograph as a custom uh, and you could swap it out each year and put the new one in or you could have a whole row of all of them for every school year wow that'd be something to show the first boyfriend or girlfriend when they come to visit wouldn't it <laughs> this is what they used to look like <laughs> okay so as i said i got these in gold and silver the silver one is exactly the same that's a nice silver as well they're like um a dullish like what can i say like a, not frosted but like a dull they're not real bright and in your face so you're not going to walk in and think whoa i need my sunglasses for those you know they're a nice subtle shade and as i said there is quite a few other different colors as well so yeah really pleased with those and for three pound 84 um i'm just blown away i just think the price is excellent and uh, if there's buy four get one free i don't know whether that's on these or not but i am going to put four in uh, five into my basket and see if it works because i will be ordering some more and if it doesn't well i'll just be buying five diamond paintings instead <laughs> a good excuse okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me so we've had our two magnetic picture frames photograph frames whatever you want to put in them and yeah really pleased with those excellent quality uh then we've had our beautiful little parity lovebird parakeet whatever special drill painting our two macaws uh, in the red colour um, I'm sure there is a different name as well but I can't think of it at the moment uh, our little cross owl that's going to be looking at me very judgmentally <laughs> if I have him on my desk or if I'm using him I can just imagine Katty you're going to put it in the wrong place and you look at your pen your new pen saying to you you're going to put that in the wrong place what do you think you're doing yeah I'm going to be judged by a diamond painting <laughs> And then I'll glow in the dark drills, which I will get charged up and I will insert a little clip to show you them glowing. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, pop them in the comments down below. And a huge thank you to uh, Nathan and GBFKE for sending me these to review and have a look at. I just think they're uh, wonderful. I've definitely had a bird theme, haven't I? I've had a parrot theme and a bird theme. <laughs> okay, uh, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. If you do want to uh, come back and see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button and the all notification bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.